Hello and welcome students so in this lecture we are going to discuss square identities based on this chapter algebra and based on that we are going to solve few very good question which is previously asked in competitive level exams so let's try to understand what is an algebraic identity first of all if an algebraic expression is always equal to another expression then it is called an identity and we already know these square identities such as a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a square minus b square and we should memorize these identities for smooth calculations now we'll move forward we'll try to understand product of two binomials now over here x minus a into x plus b now this is just normal multiplication we just have to multiply each and every term which is present inside the bracket to each and every term which is present inside this bracket and we will get these terms over here we don't really have to memorize this identity we just have to perform multiplication and uh, if we have smooth if i have good uh, command on multiplication we will get these result very efficiently and more speedily Okay, now let's try to understand square of a trinomial. Now trinomial in which there are three terms and we have to find the square of a trinomial. So a plus b plus c whole square and uh, it is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus twice of ab plus bc plus ca. You can take this two common and you can write twice of ab plus b, bc plus ca inside the bracket. And uh, these all identities are very much similar, right? In the second case, you have to write minus b in place of b, right? So wherever b is written, you have to write minus b. In the third case, you have to write minus c in place of c right and you will apply this identity in the first identity only you just have to memorize this identity and even though if you have problem in memorizing this identity you can always multiply a plus b plus c into a plus b plus c multiply each and every term uh, to each and every term which is present inside the brackets and you will get the same identity and you just have to memorize this identity for smooth calculations and all these identities are based on this first identity only now students based on that we are going to solve few olympiad level questions so let's get started the continued product of 1 plus x into uh, we have to find the product so 1 plus x into 1 plus x square into 1 plus x raised to power 4 plus 1 plus x raised to power 8 into 1 minus x now as you can see a 1 minus x and 1 plus x will multiply with each other and we will apply this formula a plus b into a minus b and it, it is equal to a square minus b square so i will perform this multiplication I will first of all multiply 1 plus x into 1 minus x and I will write all these terms as it is 1 plus x square, 1 plus x raised to power 4, 1 plus x raised to power 8. Now over here 1 plus x into 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus x square, right? Into 1 plus x square, into 1 plus x raised to power 4 and into 1 plus x raised to power 8. Now over here 1 minus x square into 1 plus x square is equal to 1 minus x raised to power 4 because again we have applied that identity a minus b into a plus b and uh, this is a this is b in this case. So 1 minus x square into 1 plus x square is equal to 1 minus x raised to power 4 right. Again we will multiply this 1 minus x raised to power 4 to 1 plus x raised to power 4 and let's see what we are going to get. So again we have to apply the same identity right so i will get over here 1 minus x raised to power 8 and i will multiply it 1 plus x raised to power 8 so i will get 1 minus x raised to power 16 and that will be our final answer so as you can see option number a will be our correct answer and that will be the product of all these terms and a very easy question asked previously in iom so in order to solve this question we should remember all identities now let's move forward to the next question. Now 4x square plus y square is equal to 40 and xy is equal to 6. Find the value of 2x plus y. Now we can clearly observe if I write 2x plus y whole square, right? We are applying a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. In this case a is equal to 2x, b is equal to y. So directly I can write a square which is 2x whole square plus b square which is y square plus 2ab 2 into 2x into y so what i'm going to get 4x square plus y square plus 4xy now over here 4x square plus y square is equal to how much it is already given as 40 so i will write 40 over here and 4xy so xy is equal to 6 so 4xy is equal to 4 into 6 which is 24 so 40 plus 24 will be equal to how much 64 now 64 is a perfect square of 8 so you can see 
टू एक्स प्लस वाई होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर एंड टू एक्स प्लस वाई विल बी इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस एट बिकॉज वी हैव सीन द स्क्वायर ऑफ अ नेगेटिव नंबर इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव सो स्क्वायर ऑफ माइनस एट इज ऑल्सो सिक्सटी फोर सो द वैल्यूज ऑफ टू एक्स प्लस वाई विल बी एट एंड माइनस एट and as you can see option number a will be our correct answer so again a question based on identity now students will move forward to the next question x plus 1 by x is equal to 3 then find the value of x minus 1 by x now from this expression i will first of all write x plus 1 by x whole square so it will be equal to a square plus b square plus 2 a b okay so uh, we have to memorize this identity again a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab now over here we have to apply this identity we have to see that we the application is also very important so over here x plus 1 by x is equal to 3 so 3 square is equal to 9 and x square plus 1 by x square is we will write as it is and over here x and 1 by x will be cancel so over here we are going to get 2 so the value of x square Plus one by x square from this expression will come out to be how much? Nine minus two, which is seven. Okay. Now what will I do? I will write x minus one by x whole square again. So again, it is equal to x square plus one by x square minus two x into one by x a minus b whole square identity I have used. So over here, x minus one by x whole square will be equal to x square plus 1 by x square which we have just evaluated and it is equal to 7 and this x and 1 by x will be cancelled 7 minus 2 right so x minus 1 by x will be equal to 7 minus 2 is 5 so i can write the value of x minus 1 by x will be equal to plus minus under root 5 Okay, students. Now let's move forward to the next question. Simplify the given polynomial. Now over here you can see x square, y square, z square, x y, y z, z x. These terms are present, so there is a possibility that you will have to apply a plus b plus c whole square identity, which is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus twice of a b b c and c a. So uh, we have to find the values of a b and c in this case. So as you can see. Over here, nine by sixteen x square can be written as three by four x whole square, right? Plus four by nine y square can be written as two uh, by three y whole square, right? And four uh, z square can be written as two z whole square. right but there is a negative sign over here and we have seen in the expression of a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca that there is not a negative sign so there might be a possibility that either of these three terms can be negative right so as you can see wherever there is a y there is a negative sign and uh, wherever there is x and z there is not a negative sign so we can also write 2 by 3y as minus 2 by 3y because The square of a negative number is also positive, and uh, you can see minus two by three y whole square is equal to four by nine y square. Now we just have to verify two ab, two bc, and two ca, and we will get the values of a, b, and c. And we can directly write our answer a plus b plus c whole square in terms of x, y, and z. Okay, so over here I have to write two ab. Now a is equal to three by four x, and b is equal to minus two by three y. so you can see this 3 and this 3 will be cancel 2 into 2 4 4 and 4 will be cancel minus xy term you are going to get which is correct till now okay now let's verify bc also 2 bc okay so over here i will write 2 and b is minus 2 by 3y and c is equal to over here we have written 2z okay now you can see 2 into 2 into 2 8 And z, y z is written, and in the denominator there is three, so minus eight by three y z, and which is also correct over here. Now let's write twice of c a. Now two times c is equal to two z, and a is equal to three by four x. So you can see uh, this two into two four, and four by four will be cancelled, and you are going to get three. x z and uh, which is also present over here so we can directly write this is a formula of 3 by 4 x minus 2 by 3 y plus 2 z whole square 
right? And that's how with the help of this identity, we can solve this question quite easily. And which option is matching now? So as you can see, option number A will be our correct answer. And that's how we can solve this question. Now students, let's move forward to the next question. If x plus 1 by x is equal to root 5, find the value of x raised to power 4 plus 1 by x raised to power 4. We have often the, uh, seen these type of questions in Olympiad level exams. So what we have to do, basically we have to square both sides, right? Because x plus 1 by x whole square, we have seen is equal to x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x and x and 1 by x will be cancelled. Now x plus 1 by x is equal to root 5. Root 5 whole square is equal to x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. And uh, root 5 whole square is equal to 5. And if I take this uh, 2 towards left side, it will become 5 minus 2. And it is equal to x square plus 1 by x square which is equal to 5 minus 2, 3, right? So from this expression, we have evaluated the value of x square plus 1 by x square. Now we have to find the value of x raised to power 4 plus 1 by x raised to power 4. So for that, we have to again square both sides. So if I square both sides, x square plus 1 by x square, whole square, and it will be equal to 3 square. Now, again apply the identity a plus b whole square, which is a, uh, a square, plus b square which is 1 by x square whole square plus 2a b right which is equal to 9. Now over here x square and 1 by x square will be cancelled. Now over here we are going to get x raised to power 4 plus 1 by x raised to power 4 plus over here we are going to get 2 and on the right hand side we will get 9. So what will be the value of x raised to power 4 plus 1 by x raised to power 4, it will be equal to 9 minus 2, which is 7. So this is our answer clearly. And uh, you can see option number D will be our correct answer. Let's move forward to the next question. If a plus b plus c is equal to 13a square plus b square plus c square is 69, find the value of AB, B, AB plus BC plus CA. Now again, very easy question. We just have to identify that this identity we have to use A plus B plus C whole square, which is A square plus B square plus C square plus twice of AB plus BC plus C. Okay. Now over here, A plus B plus C is already given as 13. So 13 square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square which is given as 69 plus twice of a b plus b c plus c a. Now from this expression we will get the value of a b plus b c plus c a. So 13 square is 169. Once we take the 69 towards left side 169 minus 69 will be equal to 100. Right I will write directly also but uh, I will do step by step okay. So 169 minus 69 is 100 and 100 divided by 2 I will write directly in this case. So AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 50. Okay. 100 divided by 2, 50. Okay. So option number B will be our correct answer. And that's how we can solve this question. Now students, let's move forward to the next question. X square plus Y square is 29. X minus Y is 3. Find the value of X, Y. Now again, a very easy question. We just have to square X minus Y. Right. So X minus Y whole square is x square plus y square minus 2xy. Okay, so x minus y whole square will be 3 square. And x square plus y square is 29 minus 2xy. So it will be 9 minus 29 equals to minus 2xy. And uh, you can see 2xy will be equal to 20. And the value of xy will be equal to 10. And you can see option number B will be our correct answer. So that's how we can solve this question with good speed and accuracy. Okay, students, now we have successfully finished this part of our video as well, in which we have discussed some very good question based on square identities. You can refer your modules and try to solve more questions of the similar kind. Thank you.